Hi guys, welcome to Grayson's three month update. I cannot believe that my little Grayson is a quarter of the way to becoming one. Um, he's getting so big and time is just flying by. So I have a couple notes to include in my update. Um, so bear with me, I'm gonna be looking down a lot. So yes, Grayson is three months old. He now weighs 14 pounds and four ounces. So he is huge and I feel it. We still have him sleeping in the bassinet next to our bed at night. And when I have to pick him up for the night feedings, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm struggling to pick him up. He's so big. And he is 26 inches long. Um, now we didn't go to the doctor's office this month. He skipped it and he'll go at his four month appointment. So I did, you know, just like get on the scale with him and then got on with my own weight and then subtracted the two weights. And then I did just use a tape measure for his height. So I'm not sure, um, you know, if his height is right because when I put his height into my little growth chart on my app, it said that he was um, in the 99th percentile for height when last month he was in the 50th percentile. So it might not be right or maybe he just grew like crazy and he's going to be really tall but um, his weight is the um, 55th percentile I believe it's still the 55th percentile um, 14 pounds so he's a big baby so you're a big baby so yeah he's growing he's being a chunk he loves standing <laughs> he likes being a big boy so the biggest newest thing with Grayson this month is he can now roll from his belly to his back um, so we do tummy time multiple times every day. They say you need to do it. And he's been showing signs of like, like he'll point his toes and he'll be push, trying to push off, push off on his tippy toes and things like that. Uh, one day he just did it. So I'll include the clip here of him rolling from his belly to his back. Come on, Grayson, show us how you can do it. There you go. <gasps> Come on, roll over. You can do it. <gasps> oh. oh, you can do it! <laughs> Come on! <gasps> ah, he did it! Oh my gosh! Go, baby! Isn't he so cute? Now, the funny thing with Grayson is sometimes I'll put him on his belly and he'll roll over right away. And other times I'll put him on his belly and he won't roll over at all. And it'll be days until he rolls over again. So I don't know if he's just doing it when he wants to or like what his deal is. But he's a funny one. Um, he has started laying on his back and then he'll roll over to his side. So um, that's a new thing with him. Um, but he has not rolled from his back to his belly yet. He's close though. I don't think it'll take him too much longer. But I'm kind of freaking out because... Um, I think once that starts happening, he needs to like move to his crib because I think he'll be too big for his bassinet. And I don't think I'm ready for him to move into his own room yet. We have been having him sleep in his crib for naps so that he gets used to his crib. But um, I don't want him. I don't want him to move. I like him next to me. I like being next to my little Gray Gray. Grayson smiles all the time. Um, when I wake him up in the mornings now, he sees my face, and as soon as he sees me, he starts smiling. Um, in the past it was like I had to smile first and then he would like mimic me and copy me but um now he is just smiling um on you know by himself um he smiles at everybody he smiles um definitely more at me like I get smiles out of him easier than other people do but he does smile all the time here's a couple pictures of his cute smile <laughs> Grayson is talking, well, not really talking, but he is cooing a ton lately. And he's so funny, he will move his um, tongue around in his mouth now, and it like creates different pitches. Um, so his voice will go up and down, um, and it's really cute. He loves talking. Um, here's a couple videos of him talking. Oh, oh. oh really? Grayson? <laughs> you see? 
Say anything hi? <gasps> that literally sounded like hi. Say hi. So yeah, he talks all the time. He talks to me. He tells me about his dreams. He, talk, he talks to Anthony when Anthony comes home from work and tells Anthony about his day. He's just a little chatterbox. Um, I think I'm going to be in trouble when he actually starts learning words. This past month, we celebrated the 4th of July and also Grayson's first vacation. My family and I went to Hawking Hills and it was a really fun time. Here are a couple pictures. So we had a really fun time, we went zip lining, um, we rented a cabin, we went on a hike, Grayson, um, I don't really know if he really cares for the Ergo that much, he's never really been fond of it, I'm wondering if like, may I keep hoping like maybe when he gets a little bigger, he'll like it a little bit more, but for right now like he really does not care for the Ergo, cue this picture. <laughs> Yeah, so he's not too happy about being in that, um, but we did get him to like settle down a little bit, but he's just not a big fan of the Ergo. He loves his stroller, but the Ergo not so much, and Hawking Hills doesn't have any like paved um, paths, so we had to take him in the Ergo. Grayson went swimming for the first time. Um, he also went to Toledo for the first time. Toledo is where my parents um, well, my parents and Anthony's parents um, live, and so we went to Toledo. Anthony had a work trip that he had to go on for two weeks, so um, Grace and I decided to head to Toledo and hang out with my family for a little bit. So, yeah, we went to Toledo, and my parents have a pool. So um, we bought little swim diapers for Grayson. He barely fit into them. They were way too big on him, and we just... We didn't really like put him in because the water was really cold. It was um, early June, so um, it was the weather was still pretty cold out. And um, but we just kind of like dipped his feet in the water and stuff. And he just kind of had like a neutral face on the whole time. He wasn't like overly happy, but he wasn't like screaming crying. So it was just kind of like meh for him. Grayson has like started he's like on the cusp of giggling and laughing um he's much like l towards the end of this month he's become much easier to like get to laugh like he loves um when you pretend to sneeze in front of him he loves when you like lift him up into the air he likes being thrown in the air and so he'll like start to laugh he'll be like uh -huh, but he won't like do a full out full-on giggle yet so i think we're really close to having that happen grayson loves getting raspberries on his tummy so, you know raspberries is when you like blow on their tummy he loves it um here's a video of my mom doing it to him <laughs> he's so close to laughing are we getting your belly are we getting your belly It makes him smile. He's so close to giggling. Um, and he just loves kisses on his belly, too. He's really easy to please. Grayson has now moved into size 2 diapers. Um, although, funny story, I actually did get him into a size 1, or no, a newborn size diaper the other day. I was running low on diapers, and so I was just like, oh, here, here's a newborn diaper, and he fit in. 
did it. So, you know, he's not too big. He's still my baby. Grayson still is not really sure about bath time. He just like, like in the pool, he'll just have a like regular face on, a normal face. He won't like laugh or be happy or like smile, but he won't scream and cry either. So we're still like trying to figure that out. Okay, so Grayson decided he was done with the video. So I went and put him in his little gym to play with. We celebrated Grayson's baptism um, this past month as well. So um, I'm a Catholic. Um, Anthony's Lutheran, but um, we got married in a Catholic church. My family is um, pretty Catholic, and so I decided that I wanted to bring Grayson into the Catholic church. And so we had a little baptism for him and then a little party afterwards. So here's a couple pictures from the day. <laughs> He was so cute in his all little white outfit, and we just had family come and, you know, celebrate with us, and it was a really fun day. Grayson has a really strong grip still, um, and he recently has started, like, gripping my hair and pulling my hair, and I have been shedding my hair like crazy because, you know, postpartum hair, you lose it all, and so every time I look at him, he's, like, got fists full of my hair. Um, I'm kind of worried that he's going to eat it one day, but hopefully he won't. Grayson loves making eye contact with people. He's really, really good about doing that. And he's so good at creating eye contact that it's like people don't even want to look away from him when he's looking at them because he stares so intently. We went out of the country for the first time with Grayson, so he is an international traveler. Um, we only went to Canada. Um, so Canada or Windsor is only like an hour, hour and a half from my parents house um, in Toledo because Toledo is at like the very northern part of Ohio so we just went for the day and actually I had to research it but you can take children up until age like 17 um, into Canada without a passport all you need is their birth certificate you just have to be traveling by car if you traveled by plane you'd have to have a passport but by car they'll take a birth certificate so it was awesome um, we are gonna get Greece in a passport just because my family is going on a vacation to Mexico stay tuned for um, you know upcoming vlogs for that so we're going to do that um, in the winter time so we do have to get him a passport we just haven't gotten one yet um, but thankfully we were able to take him with a birth certificate and it was totally easy totally fine we just did a day trip and it was a lot of fun. Grayson still loves eating. In fact, he loves eating so much that he has gone backwards in his sleeping schedule. So Grayson used to be a really awesome sleeper and he was basically sleeping like seven to eight hours through the night. Like it was awesome. And then, and I think it might have been like changing it up to going to live in Toledo for two weeks and like a change of scenery and all that. But once we got to Toledo, he actually started regressing in his sleep. And so he now st like starts to wake up every two to three hours at night. So it stinks a lot. Um, he is eating every time he gets up. So I don't know if he's just like going through a growth spurt and he just needs to eat a lot more or it was like Toledo and like the change of room and he was just like throwing him off. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it goes back to like that seven to eight hours of sleep, but I'm really not sure. I have been getting up a lot more with Grayson. We have had a couple of rough nights where he's gotten up and then it's been like 2 a.m. and he's just been wide awake for no reason. And so I've had to like rock him for an hour until he's gone back to sleep. So that's been really frustrating to deal with, but it's nothing I can't handle. I just have to deal with it. So hopefully he gets back on his sleep track um, by four months. Grayson loves to sit up. He does not like to lay down anymore. Um, if I lay him down on his lounger, he's constantly trying to like sit himself up, even though he's not strong enough to do so yet. Um, he has really good neck control and he can hold his head up really, really well. Um, he does not have so much good control of like his body and so he'll constantly be like falling over tipping over from one side to the other or he likes to lean forward um so i do have to watch him on that but his head control he's really good and his neck control he's really good on it grayson we just figured this out he loves paw patrol so i know there's going to be people who judge like baby shouldn't watch tv different things like that but i don't see the harm in it and i don't have it on you know 24 7 it's just sometimes if he's super fussy i'll just 
just turn the TV on. And for whatever reason, like he loves looking at screens. He loves looking at, you know, my phone screen, my computer screen, my TV screen, and Paw Patrol. I think it's because the animation has like a lot of bright colors. He just loves looking at it and he'll just zone out and he loves Paw Patrol. And the other day he was talking to Paw Patrol, like talking to the dogs. So it's really cute to see. Grayson um, recently got a new toy. It's this little music toy and it, he can like hold it and it like just plays different, like seven different like classical music. So it's got like Beethoven and all that on it. And he really likes it because it like has flashing lights in tune to the music. And so he's really, he really loves that toy. He'll just zone out and watch it for a couple minutes. We have started um, a bedtime with Grayson. I don't know if I talked about this in the last video, but this month he has been going to bed around 8.30 at night. Um, and I really haven't done too much of a schedule with him. I'm still kind of doing like off his signals and like if he shows me he's tired then I put him down if he's not then I keep him up um and same with feeding like since he's breastfeeding I don't know how much he's eating at a time I'm still 100% breastfeeding and so you know whenever I see those hunger cues I feed him instead of like having him on a schedule um I'm definitely not opposed to having a schedule I just think for right now like with me not working it's just easy for me to like be on his time and his schedule so he does go to sleep every night about 8.30 and it's just been so nice to have him on a bedtime schedule now because I feel like I have my evenings back in, you know, in the past couple of months he's been staying up until like 11.30 midnight um, and so it's like he goes to bed and I go to bed and I don't get like any me time in the evenings and so now that he goes to bed at like 8.30 I have like I usually stay up until like 11, 11.30, and so it's been really nice to have him just go to bed at night. And um, he's really good. When I put him down to bed at night, he'll, he will stay asleep until, um, he has a really good like stretch in the very beginning. He'll sleep from like 8.30 until like midnight or one, and he'll just sleep through, through that. And then after one, he'll get up about every two hours. So it'll be like one, three, five, seven, and then he'll, he's usually up around 8, 8.30 for the day. So it's not too bad. It's just a lot of waking up. I love having his bedtime. And this month, we've also started, like, actually doing naps. So in the beginning, he just kind of, like, fell asleep wherever. He'd fall asleep in his rocker, in his swing. But I've just been wanting to, like, actually get a schedule down now and free up more time, like, during the day so I can, like, get stuff done around the house. So I've been trying to get him to go down for bed, like, for naps. And I've been trying to put him down in his crib because eventually, we're gonna transition him to his crib he's not gonna stay in our room forever in the bassinet so I wanted to like start transitioning him and getting him used to the crib my routine is like you know we'll get up at like let's say 8 8 30 and he'll stay up for about an hour and a half to two hours and then he'll be down for his first nap and I just kind of get a bottle I feed him a little I rock him in the rocker he falls asleep and then I try to make sure he's still a little drowsy because I do want him to learn how to like fall asleep on his own and I'll put him in the crib um, sometimes I'll have to put a pacifier in his mouth and he'll suck on that and go back to sleep but most of the times he'll just fall right back asleep. I do have a noise machine, a, the dome noise machine that I do put on for him and um, I just kind of leave the room. I have a monitor that I put on and I watch. He'll usually sleep for like two and a half hours at a time two two and a half hours at a time he's a really good napper um and so it's really nice he's been freed up my time so he, he'll sleep for about that much and then he'll be up for an, like an hour hour and a half and then he'll be ready for another nap and that's just kind of like our routine through the day um he'll get up and I'll, you know, change his diaper, we'll play a little bit. I have had to start pumping more now because Grayson is a stinker and he refuses to nurse from me. Um, the only time he will nurse from me is at night and when he first wakes up and I think it's because it's like he's kind of drowsy and not really aware of what's going on. If he's like fully awake, he will not nurse from me and I think it's because my letdown takes a while to come in and so he gets really imp impatient, he's really hungry, whereas the bottle like he gets the food right away and we'll play a little bit and then I'll put him in a swing or his like gym and then I'll go pump a little bit and then um, we'll come back we'll do some tummy time another diaper change and then he'll start to show me he just starts getting a little fussy and so then I know like okay it's nap time so I'll put him down for another nap and he seems to 
you know, that schedule does seem to work for us. So it's been really nice trying to get him on more of a schedule. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, like, I don't know what it is, but he has started rejecting, you know, my breasts during the day. But thankfully at night, like, I can still nurse him. Uh, it's just during the day that he refuses to eat from me and he only uses the bottle, which is fine. It's just frustrating to have to, like, take time out of my day to, like, nur like pump and then feed him. Like, I'd rather just feed him from my boob. But, you know, he's always keeping me guessing. Another thing with Grayson is he kind of, like, really doesn't care for the pacifier anymore. Which, like, it's bittersweet. It's hard because sometimes I'd like him to just have the pacifier so he's not so fussy and he'd just suck on that instead of crying. But then on the other hand, like, it's good that he's not too attached to it because then it wouldn't be, like, too hard to break him of that habit when he gets older. But, yeah, he just really doesn't like having the pacifier. He'll take it, like, to go to sleep. But other than that, like, he just, like, if I put it in his mouth, he'll, like, spit it out immediately or won't even take it. So it's really weird. So I think that's about it for Grayson's three-month update. Stay tuned for more videos from me. Um, and, yeah, I just, I love my baby boy. And I'm having so much fun getting to know him and his little personality. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.